Well, what's going on guys welcome back we are not quite in the shop but outside here because well this thing here is a little bit too big to be lugging around um <laughs> this used to be a chopping block for firewood at a uh, local shop and i was promised on the day that it broke it would become mine so and i think we're gonna play around with this um <laughs> <laughs> got that big old moose knuckle there but uh, I think we're gonna work with some of this material over on this side so we can get a peek inside see what we're working with here I'm gonna get this set up get a cut taken off that is workable and we will go from there Meh. I already found a nail. I'm sure that was good for the chain. There's two nails. Yay! Let's try and pull that out. One. So the saw actually pulled one out by itself. <laughs> and that chain's beat. Thing was loaded with nails so we oh here's the third fourth lovely all right well so far chainsaw blade dunzo and bandsaw blade dunzo i hope it's worth it
So, uh, what are you making today, Todd? Oh, today? Uh, well, today I, I, I'm making a, a, a mess. That, that, that's what I'm making today. Alright guys, so I'm just going to bring you in here to show you what we're working with. 
and I'll be the first to admit this uh, this one's been taking me for a ride here but I'm starting to like what I see on the inside which is kind of forcing me to think looking on the outside here we have loads of the surface cracking we got these nice chunks that we got to deal with some punky areas a couple more voids like in this little bit of pearl figuring here so I think what I'm gonna do and I'm looking at my thickness here only about I'll stay out of the void I don't know we're only about a quarter inch wider on the bottom then in the wall i think what i'm gonna do to get our wall thickness now is to take it from the outside here try and eliminate some of this surface checking from where this thing got all beat up with the axe it might help open up these cracks a little bit help them develop a little bit more and i think overall it'll just give us a nicer looking piece that is less likely to blow apart um, as I was turning the inside out too, we started realizing some ring separation. Um, the ring separation that rolled into the bottom portion of the bowl we were able to cut out. But now we're kind of left here. Where's it at? I'm spinning around in circles. Oh, this right here. This is cracked. It runs all the way through there. So we're going to have to address that as well. This crack right here that runs all the way through. So, yeah, we're going to have to address that at some point too. But, let's just keep on moving forward and see if we can't follow this all the way out.
It's done. Let's go check it out. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, here she is. I have a few choice words to explain how I feel about this project, but I don't think any of them will be appropriate for uh, family content. Uh, <laughs> nah, this thing gave me a ride. It took way longer than it should have, but I did my best to make sure we could bring it to uh, completion. Honestly, I'm very happy with the way that it came out, although I have a little bit of a problem with the way that the white and the resin presented itself. Um, we came back with the mica powder and CA, and obviously that came out brighter just because there was a much higher concentration of the color. Um, I did my best right here, as you could see, to maintain the portion of this log that was bearing the brunt of the, the axe in uh, the process of what it was actually uh, laid out for. Um, this thing was cut green, thrown into the shop next to a wood stove, and lived there for uh, a majority of its life. So, you know, what do you expect? Of course, we're going to have some cracking. Um, I did my best to try and bring out all of the best of this piece. I want to thank Jeff over at Wood Naturally for uh, holding up his end of the bargain here and actually giving me that phone call when this thing actually did break. Um, we do have a lot more of this material, so I am excited to get back into it, although we could have done without the nails. So, <laughs> all that being said, we dealt with seven nails, ring separation, uh cracking beyond belief <laughs> by way of uh, being beat with an axe. Um, I could have spent hours more on this piece with all the tiny little minuscule bug holes and all that. And I, I don't know. I got uh, four days into this thing and kind of had to call it. But uh, <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Um, if you like this video, uh, you like this content, please like the video. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Um, a lot of big things coming, uh, honestly. Um, there are uh, There's a whole bunch of tooling that's in production right now. Um, some in the design phase and some in the actual production phase. Um, be on the lookout for stuff like that. I will be posting over on the social media stuff, uh, Instagram, Facebook a little bit more so on Instagram um, we have uh, 12 inch and 18 inch uh, steady rests on the way and if you have a machine that's bigger than uh, an 18 inch swing um, this is built on this is built as a modular system so it will be adaptable I just kind of figured that you don't really need much more than an 18 inch ring uh, for a steady rest so please be on the lookout for that um, yeah, and uh, get over to the socials, uh, the Facebook, the Instagram. I try and update the Instagram pretty regularly. I like to add uh, a little bit of music in that so you guys can get a gra uh, get a handle on kind of where I'm at in my head, if that matters to any of you. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think. Please do. Uh, hit up the comments and let me know what you guys think about this particular piece. Slow rollers are coming next, and... I love you guys. See you next time.